Oh my god, dude. It hasn't let us down yet. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, dude. This is our fourth yog, dude. <laughs> oh, she's the one, Cole. Oh. oh my god, no, dude. <laughs> Dude, army of the dead into four old gods. Oh no, there's oh my god, what on earth? Oh my god, dude. Hey buddy, watch this. Kinda wanna go back to heroic. The only problem is if I don't get Okay, we did get a Vandar Knights, okay. Yeah, I mean we could try a Secret Hunter, yeah. Quest Secret Hunter? It's a neat idea. Okay, so, I mean, we definitely want still a secret package, and I'm certain of that. Even though we're going to get other secrets off of the um, the treasure, I'm still going to want the other secrets, right? And I think we're going to want secret synergy cards for sure. Not actually convinced that's super good. We take a secret keeper. I mean, we take Mad Scientist. Absolutely. How do I progress quest? Oh, you're right. I didn't even think about it. I only have explosive trap. And spring the trap. Yeah, that's not enough. Uh, yeah, maybe we don't do quest then. I also don't love spellstone. I feel like it's too slow. I think I might go secret keeper instead. A little bit more tempo that way. Could also go like Sun Reaver Spy, but it's just three four is really maybe not that compelling. I mean, looking at this right, it it this does not look to me like it's going to win any games. <laughs> I don't think I need this. Somebody said add a yog. I honestly don't hate it. Like, I feel like I need some kind of punch to it, you know? Like, I need something to give me, like, a crazy win out or something, right? Play both. <laughs> now, I like this guy. Now, this guy knows what he's doing. This guy, this guy is a smart guy. I don't care, dude. This deck's gonna suck. <laughs> Let's just do it, dude. Double yog. <laughs> I like this guy. Who said that? Who said that? Who said who said just play both? Seabass, dude. Seabass, you're my hero. I totally forgot we have scouts too here, by the way. Like, like half this is gonna be scout driven. I didn't even think about that. Like our, our hero power is scouts, because what the heck else are we gonna do, right? We don't have a better hero power, so. Um Didn't even think about that. Like that, that kind of gives us the ability to win games sometimes. Just steal stuff, right? Just steal good things. Just promote didn't feel right. I kind of wanted to play Drek'thar, to be honest, but we just didn't have him. Let's go here over explosive. Ooh, early Stalker's Supplies. Stalker's Surprise. Oh, I wish I could spring the trap here. Uh, okay, Secret Keeper for Tempo is a little better, probably, but debatable. My shield's annoying. Uh, hopefully this stays at three, though. Would you look at that? I mean, you'd rather shuffle this and then do this, but we're definitely going to take it if we get it. Actually, do I even... Yeah, I have two secrets left. Okay. No, bad math. Bad math. Now I think we just go Renling's face, right? I mean, do we still do this? Like, is one secret plenty? No, let's just go Renling's. No okay, um... Let's see, they have coins, so Ice Trap doesn't feel super compelling. I feel like Snipe to deny the hero power makes some sense, right? Yeah. Alright, um... Yeah, attack, petting zoo, hero power looks pretty nice. Da, da, da. I've learned something by watching Regis streams. This deck is going to get some crazy treasure and go for nine wins. It is always the ones we least expect that do the best, yeah. Every time I say, I think this deck's got it, dude, I can feel it. It's like, ah, yeah, you would face some, some crazy monster deck. Every time I say, this deck's not going to suck, it's a magical 10 win. Yeah, we'll see. Don't get your hopes up. I don't feel I don't feel it for this one. Reinforcements incoming. Reinforcements incoming. Yeah, hero power that, bro. Yeah. I dare you. No more take candles. Uh Okay. Just kind of ignore that, right? Oh, well. 
<laughs> Never mind, I guess not. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just... Uh... Uh, actually, do we just clear with our face and preserve our minion here? Probably, yeah. I don't think I'll get a card that's interesting enough to change that fate. So they did use um, coin. So Ice Trap is a little more compelling, particularly because these two aren't going to interact with anything this turn. So just in case Ice Trap creates a little more disruption, I think we go that route. And uh, yeah, we'll just max tempo here. I know there's some cool things happening in hand that look really fun and exciting and everything. But I just, we're, we're close to turning the corner and winning, right? So let's just go. Uh, see you something once forgotten. Thanks again for the crazy uh, gifted subs, man. That's really nice. Have a great one. We'll see you in the VOD. Maybe if I remember in like 30 minutes, I'll be like, hey, something once forgotten. <laughs> Probably won't, but <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> that would make me awesome. Ah, yes. Ice trap. Oh, well, <laughs> it's not exactly a power play, is it? <laughs> All right. Thanks for the bonus stats, though, man. Wait, was that just the redemption a second time? I actually wasn't even watching. I didn't even notice. I think it was, right? <laughs> just played it again, yeah. Dude, these stuck around forever. Cool? I don't know how we win with these garbage decks and then we build these such cool... I mean, part of it's tempo, really. We, we take greedy stuff half the time. I actually don't hate Grom's Arm Guards, right? Pretty good with Eagle Arm Bow and Rindling's Rifle, actually. Oh my god, our hero power. Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god, we got our... I forgot about our hero power. Oh, yes. Oh no, Sticky Fingers is insane. Never mind, Sticky Fingers is great. Keep forgetting this hero power exists in this deck. Yeah, okay, never mind. Sticky Fingers is amazing. I take it back. We love it, we love it, we love it. I don't have like hero power damage output in this deck though, right? So I don't I don't think face is as compelling as normal. You know, we don't we don't have inevitability off hero power or anything. A lot of times we're gonna grind people out with value. So I, I think this is better. Eaglehorn can still deliver some face, but this plays a little better to the deck. Okay, I don't know. I feel like we're I feel like we're just gonna be a hero power deck now. Or I just hero power and get sticky finger discounts and that's how we win oh yeah i could get discounted coins they'll, <laughs> they'll be cheaper uh okay i like dunbaldar a lot actually yeah we'll play that over hero power probably because we can accelerate a lot of tempo off of that we're gonna have a bunch of one mana secrets this this across the board right oh i actually need uh to make sure i don't draw too many secrets naturally here Freezing Trap or Misdirection? So this is the big thing thing. Let's take a Freezing Trap. Might be able to interrupt a big thing later, right? I do have two of them, though. That's... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. In hindsight, eh. Don't draw a secret. Don't draw a secret. I actually need all three in deck. Or I need to find a Stalker Supplies in time to shuffle those in. One of the two. Oh my god, dude. We drew a secret. That sucks. Not even that likely, really, if you look, right? And I only have the one left. I'm going to get reduced Dunbaldar value. I mean, it's still free at two. And, and certainly, you know, drawing cards is great. It's not like it's wasted or anything. It's just, you know. I need to hit Stalker's Supplies here off the top so that I can play it and get a good secret off the final Dunbaldar, final two Dunbaldar ticks. Uh, it looks like to be like Hero Power Freezing Trap here would make a lot of sense. Oh my god, they are big. They are very large. <laughs> okay. Never they are big. So we have one more turn to hit the Dunbaldar to get the secrets shuffle. Not Dunbaldar. Stalker supplies to get the secrets shuffle. Otherwise, just make dudes and play secrets is the plan. Yeah, this guy ramps. Today I was playing Murloc Shama and my infinite arcane opponent wasn't ready for my cold lights. Oh, beautiful, dude. I never got to do cold light shadow casting in time. I need to figure out how to do that. Ooh, Tavish. Nice card, at least. Okay. It's really not what I expected to see, by the way. Yeah, we'll chill. Yeah, Dunbaldar whiffed. Oh, well. 
Oh my god. Okay, well, I can play Tavish right away now. Or Yogg, actually, as well. <laughs> That's fun. That's pretty fun. Hero powers for Tavish aren't going to be great for a bit, I guess, but... <gasps> oh my god. That is gross. Oh, this together is sick, dude. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Getting some snakes. Doesn't help a lot here, probably. I think we still go Tavish, right? Kind of assume that one guy won't be able to attack, so... Might be able to force, uh... You know. A freezing trap, basically. You don't love freezing this necessarily, but it's actually not that bad, especially with a five mana car or no, it's going to be no, it's going to be unplayable. It's going to be 12. Ice trap in case they have some ramp or something. I don't know. We're pretty likely to get open the cages, too. I think this is actually fairly likely to connect. Like if they have a ramp piece, like I definitely want to hit this. Like a nourish, right? Which is going to be more likely to make me win. I think I think this is hitting a nourish would be really cool. And I think we'll just chill here. Okay, so I think we're actually in a better spot than than you'd expect. I have Yogs for like crazy emergencies. I have Hero Power is okay. I mean these these are pretty useless now because they're shuffling full cost. They're adding full cost cards, right? So just like what are these gonna do? I think they'd be wise not to attack, actually, right? Because uh, they can just keep that taunt down, and I'll have to interact with it forever. Um, now with the with the freezing trap, right? It's just unplayable, literally unplayable, forever. Oh well, okay, maybe not then. Actually, never mind. You want to get the want to get this uh, wind fury rusher down? I guess it makes more sense. Cloaked huntress is cool. Okay. All right, we got another freezing trap. Yogs are chilling. Hero power is incoming. <laughs> Perfect hand. <laughs> yes, you're right. We are living the Hearthstone dream. Two one mana Yogs in hand. Life can't get any better. So that's uh, seven mana now. They're quite a ways off on that one, obviously. Dude, so far this ice thingy sucked. We made a bad call on the ice thingy. Little did we know. All right, so we can kill him, but it's not going to be fun just yet. Uh, I don't know what's good here. Liak any good? Misha's definitely not it, but that's all right. So we're giving them this gray bow for now. Gray bow for now. Because I want to deal face damage. Like, I don't think this thing dying is even that likely, honestly. So just saying, hey, we're going to try to go over the top here. Maybe we have this emergency resolve this with a Yogg later or whatever, but for now, let's just create the, the pressure outs we expect to, to win the game. Four mana is a lot. Wow. Battle Guard into Moarg. Oh my god, that is actually crazy. Uh, okay. Well, that hurts a little. That That actually really does change my calculus quite a bit. Don't think we still rip a Yogg yet, though. I don't think things have turned into emergency. Is it Grey Bow or Grey Bow? It's Grey Bow. What have we here? A bow is a part of a tree. A B O U G H. <laughs> Yogg is <miss> lethal. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess theoretically, for all I know, you, you, there could be some weird, you know, different pronunciation for Grey Bow specifically, but generally you would say a bow. Grave Ugg. <laughs> and there's a lot of people in the Battlegrounds community in particular saying Grey Bell, which I thought was interesting. Uh, so we're going to heal them a lot here, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if I have a great way to avoid that, though. Just, uh, you know. Oh, I, why did I. Why am I an idiot? <laughs> I thought that was going away. For some reason. 
I thought I had isolated it and it was going away. I obviously just missed two face damage. I didn't even really need to kill this. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just dumb. It was going to be a problem anyway next turn, right? But I could have got two face damage, obviously, in the meantime. I just had this thing in my brain that it was gone forever after I killed that. I forgot how Grey Bell worked. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god, is it time? Like, do I have to... Do I have to yog this? Is it time? Let's bring the trap. I can save that for Stalker's supplies. <sighs> Can't even wheel yog yet. I have to OG yog. Uh, can I like... Put these down to the Nazoth maybe? Not always. Leoc? Oh, dude, that sucks. Too easy. Oh, God, I'm so dead. That's garbage. I mean, what is this cast? Like a silence or something? I, I don't know, dude. Should I trade in first? <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. It's not going to be good enough. Wildfire. Oh my god, no, dude. <laughs> That's actually not terrible, I guess. Please let me pe play this. Okay. Actually not insane. Okay, hold up. Actually not bad. Actually not bad, dude. I overwrote my weapon. I did not mean to. Why did that happen? Did I accidentally click a weapon? Why isn't there a... Well, okay, that was bad, but everything else worked out okay. I, I guess I accidentally clicked Eagle Horn when I was trying to click High Main. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're okay. Whatever. It worked. We'll take it. I thought I had a. I thought I had an Eagle Horn in hand. It, it's all good. Yeah, Doom. We got Doom. Uh, and it saved our behinds, dude. Uh, that is for sure. Oh, we got Dunbaldar Bridge. I didn't even see that. That's why these are buffed. Okay, I wondered why this was buffed. Yog, yeah, Yog, dude, I told you, sometimes you need to be able to steal a game, right? Yog is stealing games. Oh my god, this is actually really good for me right now. What the heck? Oh, I'm just gonna have lethal. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, or not. Uh, can I get a good spring the trap here? Yeah, if I go for Rinlings, that, that loses me a lot of damage. That doesn't seem worth it, right? Kind of almost need those in deck anyway, don't I? Uh, let's try to hit a... Well... Yeah, Huffer's okay. Whatever. Does Druid have any kind of, like, board clear? Should I play a secret just to be safe? Uh, I don't know. I have another weapon charge anyway. Whatever. Dude, Drew to the Fang. I love it. Uh, okay. This game, dude. I don't know how we're winning. Like, <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. We're doing the Fang. <laughs> Server first, Drew to the Fang. <laughs> world first. The card's been out for like six years, but it's a world first. <laughs> no one's ever <laughs> No one's ever played a Drew to the Fang before. Actual world first. <laughs> That's really amusing to me for some reason. Oh, God. That's really funny. Dude, I love that the supplies are actually denying fatigue, too. Like, we were going to lose in fatigue. Cracking himself up? No, I didn't say it. That's what I chat said it. They're cracking me up. Casino Hunter is real. This guy seems a little tilted, maybe. I don't know. I would be, too. I get it. I sure would be, too. So this is, uh... Oh, my God, dude. No way, dude. Not this again, dude. No, dude. <laughs> oh, God dang it, dude. I really don't want to have to map this out. I'm just lazy. I'm just lazy, right? Uh, okay. This seems like a good start. This one's the awkward one, though, now. Do, do, do. I don't really have a good target for this. 
Again, though, I don't even really know if I want to use it, right? It may not even be something I really want to use because... Can I leave this up? 15? 8? Yeah. I think we're better off this way. You know, theoretically, these get a little stranded, but I think we're right. Okay. So he's got that, that one thing that was like 12 mana. He's actually been discounting it with hero power, so it may be playable again soon, that 8-12. Um, he's got... What else did he... I don't remember what else he bounced back. What was that? A spell, maybe? No, he played Guess the Weight. I don't know what that was. I don't know. Is that thing playable yet? It's going to like fatigue him when he does play it, at least. Snakes, yep, big snakes. The Wind Fury, dude? Oh, yeah, Lockalar, you're right. Yeah, he bounced the Lockalar. That got cheap again, that's cool. It hit Leok and the big boy here. Let's die, though. This game, dude, it's like, what is this game, dude? Uh, will this be lethal, hopefully? Twig! Oh my god, Twig, dude, he added for the uh, Celestial, just so so far away, right? Uh, this feels like a lethal to me, right? Maybe not? Maybe not? No, we got it. Woo! Crazy game, dude. Crazy game. Wow, Yogg, dude, Yogg saved us! Excellent doom, dude. We had to kill the Grey Bells simultaneously to really get out of that mess, and, and Yogg made it happen, right? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Kobold Sticky Fingers, I guess. Embrace the chaos. Let's go. That's not bad. That's okay, but this is definitely the synergy piece. Okay. Do we keep Tavish just because he's such a power card? I think that's a fair thing to do. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to ditch here, though. I really want to find uh, Cloak Tantris, a one-drop, Dunbaldar. I think we have better options than these present. Catrax is probably not a terrible secret with coin, right? But hopefully I can just find... Yeah, Spring the Trap might be better, right? We'll see. I, I can get greedy, though, because, again, I just have hero power to fill in if I need to, so... Looking for greedy good plays, I think, is the sensible decision most of the time. Hit the one drop, hit the power spike off Huntress. Mad Science is pretty good. Quite a few power plays. No one expects the double Yogg. And by putting our entire faith in Yogg, right? By by running both of him. I think I think that really helps reward you, right? You really showcase your belief. Sigil of Alacrity. Coin there just to get some movement on that hero power, huh? Jeez. Bold. Pushing already. I love it. Golden Yogg. I don't have the other Yogg in gold. I need to make this one golden, I guess, dude. I don't think it is, right? If I'm going to have any cards in gold, I think it would be Yogg's. Secrets actually made it really fun to play against. I was really hoping to get a lock in the Nazoth. That hurt me a lot. Oh, yeah. But it gave you more reactivity. Yeah, for sure. What did she get instead? Just no board space? I don't remember encountering an elemental. Maybe no board space. Hey, Lotto thinks the tier one, dude. Well, this have a target. It would be so good if it does. So good. Good, I like trading anyway. Maybe they hit a minion here, though. No, no, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Thanks, Tyson. Too easy. Oh. Whoa. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Really not that useful at the moment, but a little higher health. I think they might be worried about this, too. Sometimes people get worried. Uh, the lock got bounced. Oh, yeah, the lock got bounced. Maybe it wasn't going to be in the Nazoth. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. 
That may be why you didn't get it in the Nazoth. I don't remember when you replayed it the second time, but... Okay, uh... Yeah, sure. Explosive Trap, I want to save for later, probably. This is a little bit of life gain, which seems like it might be necessary. They are very concerned about hitting me in the face. Hitting a misdirection might be a cool way to disrupt as well. Beyond that, I don't have a lot of ways to stop face attacks, right? Other than just them being dead to Explosive Trap or Armor or Misdirect. So Mystery Winner could get me a Misdirect. Uh, Rindling's Rifle could get me a Misdirection. Uh, does Tavish have a Misdirection? I can't even remember, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe? Anybody know? <laughs> I don't know? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Face again, dude. They have no fear, no respect. Can't get no respect in here, man. I mean, I guess I can get Demon Hunter cards as well to uh, to gain life potentially, right? Like the, the I beam or whatever, something something healy off Demon Hunter. I'm not gonna go for Dunbaldar here because I think I have a pretty good line moving forward to Tavish into something. So I just want to maximize tempo right now. Yogg gives misdirection 100% of the time. Oh god, dude! If if he does, if I play Yogg this game and it gives me a misdirection, I will give you. Uh, what can I give you? I don't know. $50 Blizzard gift card, okay? <laughs> if, if I end up playing Yogg and gives this direction, $50 is yours. <laughs> Easy money. <laughs> I love the confidence, dude. That's great. That's great. That's funny. Yogg into misdirection. Fury. Oh, God, dude. Are they overcommitting here? I have not played against a face demon hunter in so long. Oh, that's got to be game. I can't win now. I needed to Tavish, right? I can't even spring for a better secret. Is there any good secret in my deck anyway? No, nothing that matters. Uh, I can't set up lethal here, right? So I think we are cooked. As long as they have any damage, right? They they uh, have a second slice at least, it looks like. Job done. Is that what that is? Yeah. So they have probably at least three? Maybe? That was brutal, though. Needed that five armor right to extend this game by a turn. I feel like you used to see these all the time, these face demon hunters. Maybe since Oops All Spells got changed or something, they're less likely to be encountered and or played? I don't know. Oh, that's game, right? Yeah. Well, technically not yet. They will never catch me. That's, oh, that's probably game, right? Twin Slice puts them at six. Well, they may not be able to play that card off the top for... Oh, never mind. They can't. That's game. <laughs> it's just never ending. Uh... Yeah, that, that mana burn was brutal, dude. Removal of Fire Shaper? Well, that just that just happened. I, I'm saying for like the last like three or four weeks, I don't think I've seen any demon hunters. Fire Shaper just got removed. We used to see this all the time and never do, because it used to be like, oh, let's add health to be demon hunter and priest, and then it was just priest only, never demon hunter for a long, long time. Oh boy, what in God's name do we do here? I mean, the the Death Knight cards are cheaper. It's so not mummy magic. I have no death rattles. Signet. Uh, I mean, I don't really have that many that many interesting things to discount the copies with, right? Like, uh, uh, Rudy Calm, I think, is the choice. Okay, secret, but that's about it. Man, we got the death rattle buckets for mummies, huh? What in God's name am I supposed to do with these? <laughs> I don't want these. I don't need these cards. I like this has a little more reactivity, maybe. I think I like the bow, okay. Alright. Uh, okay, this is a good opener, yeah. We'll keep a trap since we have the keeper. If she lives, we'll play the trap. If not, we'll probably just zero power. Ooh, Tavish is nice, okay. Cool, cool. Ooh, man, unlocked potential and... What in God's name, dude? Unlocked potential and secrets. Uh, okay. Oh, man. Hero power magic here, dude. Well, this is probably dead. It's okay, though. 
Ooh, one man death grip, fun. What am I gonna do with that? <laughs> I don't know. I want, I never, whenever we play Runic Helm, I never get freaking the five damage thing, death coil. I just, all I want ever is death coil and I never seem to get it, right? It's like they're gonna go ahead and hero power farm here. Death coil, death coil, death coil. I need to heal off of it, right? Uh, Explosive Trap's probably gonna get proc'd off the hook, so I don't think setting up for the for the petting zoo here makes a lot of sense. Let's just hero power. We are gonna have like a pretty full hand soon. It's always doom pack, dude. I swear to God, it's always doom pack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Don't give me don't give me 78 doom packs, please. I can't do it. Can't do it. Just using hero power here to clear is totally fine. We probably want to test uh counter spell, by the way, before we rip a uh can I do that? Not a counter spell, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and get these rolling. Now that weapon's gone, I think Explosive Trap might set us up into a better... Um, ooh, Death of Decay is good at least, okay. That's nice. Two mana Death of Decay is actually sick. It's really good. All right, what do we think these freaking secrets are, dude? I have no idea. Okay. He did proc the explosive, which is actually fine because it sets up the death and decay clear. And I have the second one in hand, so it honestly almost worked out better for us this way. Do we like Huntress better here? No, I don't I don't think so. Maybe like a redemption or something? No. Seems like it's gotta be face based, right? Some kind of face based thing. I don't really want a hero power here. I'm going to burn a bunch of cards no matter what I do, honestly. But at least I can empty the explosive trap in this case. Um, just drawing stuff everywhere. Is Army of the Dead any good for us? No, not really. We have all spells right now. Uh, so we can go Huntress, Cat. Doesn't really seem that good, though. Still very worried about being dead soon. I guess Huntress, uh, Gastropod, Cat's not bad turn. Clears three cards out of hand too, which is nice. Oh my god, dude, he's just all Sword Eaters. No wonder he got unlocked potential. It's the only minion in his deck. <laughs> it makes sense, dude. I get it, jeez. My hand is stuffed fool. Is this like, have we ever played a minion? I, I guess not, right? There's no snipe, repentance, I don't know if it matters, whatever. Alright, we were both like kind of taking too much damage here, right? Snipe is cool. I think we're playing Tavish always next turn to gain some life though, right? Good secrets and life are both pretty nice. Looks like I'm gonna take five here. Army for two Yogs. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm going to take eight here. Okay. Jeez. That's brutal. Wait, I thought this was an explosive trap. Am I losing my mind? Oh, it's not. It's cat. Okay. That's fine. Thought it was explosive for some reason, but obviously not. Uh, okay, we can use an inner fire maybe to clear this thing. The problem is uh, it could it could be a uh, attack-based secret. We haven't tested any attack-based secrets, so noble sack. Um... Uh, water elemental summon thing for mage. What's that called? I don't even know. Oh my god. Going for a clear here instead of going face. Interesting. They were like all in on that face line and then pivoted there. Does that help me? Can I just maybe go doom pact here? Because Tavish is leaving a lot of threat behind, honestly. I feel like maybe a doom pact snipe is better. I definitely don't care about burning cards, right? Just want to deal with this stuff. Yeah, I think I have to, actually. Oasis Ally, thank you. That is indeed the name of the card. Could test an eye for an eye here, I guess. Okay. <laughs> it's not. Anti-Magic Shell. Army of the Dead? That would be cool if I had any minions, right? Golden Kobold would actually be a pretty legit roll there. I think we still have to go Tavish next turn. Stay alive. 
Gained some life. Very worried about being dead anyway here. Could have gotten one extra off hero power, but chose not to. So must have some way to fill mana. Oh. Yeah, okay. Snipe doesn't matter. That is a 5-5, five five, though. Oh my god, it's not... Oh my god, it's not lethal. <laughs> Unlocked potential! Saving my behind here, dude. Um... I guess I have to test this now, right? We can enter rage it if uh if this is like a noble sack or something. Okay. Well, we're alive. That's the important thing. How do I win is the next question, right? Uh, freezing trap we probably have to take just to remove this damage output, right? I I, I could try to play for the explosive trap instead. But it's kind of risky, technically, right? I don't know. Let's just be safe there. Yeah, we got it. So now this is like kind of overkill. I guess the question is, do we go Ice Trap? Does the damage seemingly matter? I have Eagle Horn in here. That's six. Death Coil would add a little damage. I don't know. It's just This is just overkill, right? Like I could have picked a different line if I'd known. I don't know. Obliterate's pretty useless. Do you ever get Death Coil? I swear to God, I've been playing this freaking uh, I, Runic Hell. I've never got. I don't think I've ever gotten Death Coil one time. Is it like? Is it loaded? Is it? Is it more or less likely to? You know what I mean? Like, is it? Is it controlled for somehow? Because I never get, never get Death Coil ever. Not one time. Not ever. Never ever. I think I'm kind of dead here if I don't get kobold, right? Four out of nine, but I like have to get the yacht, the the kobold to stay alive here, right? Because I need the taunt. I have to get the taunt. Yeah, I did get the kobold. Is that enough even? Eight? Yeah, technically that's enough. Technically that's enough. <sighs> I don't know. Is it enough? They can hero power and hit me for six. No, it's not enough if they... Oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's not enough. Hero power is lethal. Oh, that's giga lethal. Okay. What? <laughs> All right. I like it. They're just playing like an honorable kill uh, unlock, I think. Deck. Man. Rune Callum, you always disappoint me. I always trust you and you always break my heart. Uh, yeah, Hyper Blaster's good removal, I guess. We're kind of getting weird poison weapons constantly. Venom Strike. Could try to use this to go face harder, but Eagle Horn kind of already does that, and this is one you want to keep playing, and I have a lot of weapons. I need to actually play through my weapons, right? Yeah, another weapon. <laughs> let's, let's do it, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, we can, we can do better. We always have hero power to fill in the gaps here. Oh my. Oh my god. Turn 366 into cheap ledger. I think we take it, right? We can always fill in the gaps um, later. I don't need... Oh, my God. Natural force. You never see this. That's so cool. That's actually so cool. Uh, Yeah, it doesn't matter. I think we're going this route pretty much always, right? I'm going to turn all these Death Knight cards into actual legendaries. It's going to be so sick. Okay... Oh man, that's a good card. Now I'm like hesitating a little bit, right? Like, like yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 6-6 six, six is great, but I love Rindlings, you know? Like, uh, I don't know. I think we still do it. 3 minutes 6-6 six, six is pretty meaningful in its own right. It's not like we're transforming the whole deck. We're going to get recovery, so. Oh no, not my better Yogg. That's okay, this is five Yoggs. Um, okay. It's interesting. I wish I had a four mana play, but everything else is kind of okay. Oh, there goes that 6-6 six, six I was so proud of, huh? Yeah, we can just play this guy. I could obliterate my mad scientist, I guess, for one extra dude and a secret at the cost of two life. I think that's actually kind of decent, right? I upgrade the dude. I get a secret sooner. I thin out my deck faster. I don't hate it. <gasps> oh! It exists! 
You can actually get death coil. I love it. This has no hits, right? <laughs> I think not. Olvar seems like the play. Huntress for later seems cool. Rag later seems cool. Oh, Frostmourne might just go face next turn. Can we just hit for 10? Set up for the death coils? I don't know. Frostmourne has a good target to hit as well. Of course, can be worth it. Let's see if Bolvar loses his shield, if that changes our line at all. A big cloaked Huntress or something could change our fate. Just hero power Huntress. Okay. Rag can set us up for a nice lethal out. That is not a minion I care to Frostmourne. That is not something I care, care about either. I think I'm Frostmourning face. I guess in, in some ways Mooklo uh, into Banana is, is probably just a little higher output over a shorter time frame or longer time frame. If I want to make sure I win the board pretty hard here. Frostmourne face puts them at 11. I have 10 the following turn, right? So it's not quite enough yet. Um... I bet I can play these together next turn for 10 with this on board, so. I think I like this a little more. Like, if either of these stick now, I set up lethal. Weapon the 0 2? That, see, that would be my least favorite play. That's very low tempo. Like, the, I don't really care about this at all. I just want to go. I want to be aggressive here. Make them have it, you know? Keep them on the back foot, basically. Ooh! Taking 6. That's gotta hurt. Whoa, okay. I like it. As long as they don't heal, we're fine. Oh, actually, uh, Tonkai would be a problem too, but they'd have to play three. Oh, heal! I love it! Look at this mad lad. So now Secret Keeper is just busted big. I'm still gonna go face again. We're really close to ending with Death Coil. Ooh, fun. Rag too, right? Like, Rag, Death Coil, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, they get a big enough board where Rag is not compelling. We might take a Doom Pack turn to see where it lands and stuff. See if the Secret Keeper connects or not. See if Magic Shell makes sense. Because I think uh, Magic Shell on this could be really cool. <laughs> Say what you want about the Secret Keeper nerf. This is way better art. Anybody who ever looked at that old Secret Keeper card, it had like the worst art, dude. It's so bad. It was so bad. We get 10 damage here. Quiet enough just yet. Uh, do we dump the rag here anyway? Yeah, it's kind of a freebie. If there's anything we like better. Huntress doesn't have a playoff, right? So we go like Karia Magic Shell, similar to the rag, but the rag has a chance to hit face, of course, which is obviously a very nice upside. Let's save the Death Quill for a surprise. Ragged face, bro. Come on. Do it. Do it, Rag. Nice. Rag knows the place. Okay. Um, I guess if we're dead, that's about the only bad spot here. <laughs> Being dead would be bad otherwise. I think we're good. What was the change in Secret Keeper's art? She used to have this, like, I don't know, like, her, her uh, butt was more in focus. But the art was just, like, really, like, kind of a hand-drawn anime, like, almost... Really weird proportions. Like, it just looked... I don't know. It's not my style of art, to say the least. You hate to say anything's bad, but it's just like... I don't know. It just... It didn't really seem to fit the style of Hearthstone before. You, I mean, certainly you can do a side-by-side -side Google or something. It wasn't as bad as... um, What was that dude's name? Uh, The 4-3 uh, Silence guy? Oh my god, they're actually going for it. I love it. <laughs> Just putting it on there. I love it. Uh, what was that guy's name? Uh, the silence guy? I can't even think of his name. Spellbreaker. He had he had really crazy art. Is that his name? Uh, anyway, none of that none of that matters. I cannot take another weapon, obviously. Yeah, mage armor is fine. It seems like we've been like trying to stabilize at low health totals pretty often. I'm, dude, <laughs> I have to, right? It's like, it almost doesn't matter because I'm playing off of Helms and everything else so much 
It almost doesn't matter. Let's do it. I don't care. I'm feeling like a meme today. None of these are going to be YouTube videos anyway, so... I actually need a YouTube game. I, I need a YouTube video tomorrow, man. Um, it's hard when duels is like the only main thing for new content. Like normally, you know, I weave it in with standard and stuff. It's a little easier because duels runs take so long that you don't get that many per stream. Like if you don't get a hit, you're kind of left hanging, you know, uh, whereas it's a little easier to get guaranteed content in like Battlegrounds or standard. Not always possible, but a little easier. Duels sometimes can be hard to line up the right runs at the right times and stuff. Plus, it takes forever to edit duels runs, too. Okay, uh, Seer Keeper's a good opener. Yeah, just get something down. This is, uh, interesting hero power. Oh, okay. High-quality cards, for sure. Gonna need more mana for that. You like this, alright. Runic Helm carries from the Swamp and Eerie Stone. What a crazy pair, dude. Oh, oh my god! Wow! Choosing Mind Spike over your duels hero power. Interesting. I dig it. I love it. That looks sick, by the way. Oh my god, that looks really cool. Whoa. Oh my god, they're going, dude. They have no fear. No fear. Probably need to take an Obliterate soon, actually. Oh, I guess Hyper Blaster is really nice, too, though. Assume this gets hero powered. I get hit for four. We hyper blaster. This keeps me up on board for a few turns till I get to Tavish to stabilize. Maybe hit uh, hit a good death coil or something. I didn't even get to use my death coil last game, did I, guys? After all this talk about death coil, dude, I didn't even get to use it. <sighs> That's sad. Oh, this is really nice, actually. That's good. I guess it's often going to hit one of these guys, but that's okay. Something at least. I need, um... Explosive trap. Yeah, yeah, I won't, you're right, I won't get any more death coils, for sure, yeah. Uh, okay. It's probably not anything great for them. Snake trap, sure. Keep that in mind for later, I guess. Uh, might just play a Cabal here, right? Just death grip and take one of those 1-1s, one -ones, I guess. It's, it's not a fancy play, but it's a fine play. Your Wish I could take this, but it's the wrong stat line, right? So. I mean, would I rather just play a Secret Keeper? I do need to keep hand size in mind, for sure. I don't know, I feel like I need to get value out of this, though. Oh, okay. Cool. Death Grip again, yeah. This, this is definitely not our favorite. The art on it is so sick, I guess. I never really noticed. That's really cool. Armageddon has sick art, too. I have noticed this one. This one looks cool. Uh, Reed is playing duels right now, and I have to tell you, Flames of Kirin Tor is just as insane as you would think. Uh, yeah, we played Flames of the Kirin Tor. It was pretty cool. I agree. I have to agree with you there. Silence to run face. Wow. No, trade. Okay. Makes more sense. Is Army of the Dead worth it for us? I mean, oh, I was going to say we have Savannah High Main, but we don't. <laughs> Uh, I guess that means is Polk help worth it for us? Huh. Do I want more Yogs? Not not really, right? Not not particularly. Honestly. I don't I don't think that's worth it for us. Let's just keep the tempo up here. Uh oh, that's a snake trap, isn't it? I actually really don't want them to have snakes, huh? So I think we just hang out, don't we? Okay, oh, Death of Decay is great. Yes, perfect, actually. We need to deal with these wider boards, I think. Okay, I don't know if we'll do that over Tavish or not. Uh, I'll have to see how this board makes sense or not for us, but... I guess they also know this is snakes, but they're taking the, the kill anyway. It seems. Uh, yeah, I can hit here, so I think Tavish is definitely the move, right? Now we give them snakes, but at least we can deal with them. That's okay. All right. Give me good stuff, Mr. Tavish. Uh, explosive trap. Like, yeah, it looks good on this current board state. How wide are they going to be this game, though, right? Like, are they going to play a big thing now that Freezing Trap is far more compelling against? I think so. 
Uh, Ice Trap 2, when they just drew spells, seems very relevant. So let's do that. Okay, uh, burning a card next turn, but that's okay. Oh my god, I just keep getting death grips. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Need to get rid of these idiot death grips, please. Uh... Alright, that would be a sick freezing trap target, but uh I guess we'll just just attack it, right? It's all good. Mm -hmm. Uh actually death and decay into spring the trap is pretty cool too. Isn't it? Yeah. I will lose one of my minions, but that's okay. The other one can kill this just fine really thin down the deck, which is the main goal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess, right? Like, I, I don't know. It seems fine. I just want to empty hand space. Ooh, death and decay again. That's exciting. Yes, we're actually getting good cards this time. It's really nice. Yag is good to go soon, I'm sure. Well, not yet. Ah, yes! Ice Trap! Doing work! Excellent. Probably gonna just rip another death in a gate here, aren't we? Maybe even just into a high main? Cool with that. Uh, we do lose hero power value if I go that route. Is there anything I do with four mana remaining? Scientist into something? Spirit healer or Xanash? Eh, I kind of just want to get the high main down, right? I think it's good. Oh my god, yes! We're actually getting good runic helm cards, and I'm winning! It's excellent, right? Man. I got in the time machine and looked at the last year of duels. What a doozy. I bet, dude. It's been, it's, you know, it's actually had quite a few different, like, metas and changes for not getting, like, too many new heroes, but a lot of new passives and stuff really shake things up. Okay, Death and Decay here a little less interesting. Kind of intrigued by death grips now, man. Like, like what do they have? You know, they got bigger stuff than I expected, actually. Let's just see. Let's see what's in the little little pool here. I don't think I have shadow spells, right? I don't think so. Uh, okay, I'll play this. Oh, good, a taunt. That's nice. I was a little bit worried about this guy hitting me, but... Well, I guess not really, because I have a freezing trap up. <laughs> I have actually two freezing traps up. <laughs> Scratch that. I guess I really shouldn't be worried about it. Uh, okay, obliterate again, yeah. Death of Decay and Hand Stills, nice. Yogg has got to be ready now, right? Got to be. No, one left. My god, dude. Stop. <sighs> they still have that big corrupty spell thing they can play. Uh, what did it go to? Six mana or something? Oh, pretty pretty weak result, I guess. That's nice. This looks like a death and decay into a trade. Pull a secret out of deck. Do I have any that I can actually pull? Explosive Trap is not going to pull. So I guess not. Makes that a little less interesting, I suppose, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, we just keep tempoing here, keep going. Do we want this? I don't even know if I want this, right? It's, like, not that interesting or good. I think I'd rather just play four drops. Yogg is finally ready. Not that we need him at this stage. Death and Decay again. Oh my god. I actually love Runic Helm finally. This is great. This is what it feels like to get good Runic Helms, dude. I, I love it, man. I love it. Trade first? Why is everybody saying trade first? What? What do you mean? With the Mad Scientist? Why? Am I missing something? I might be missing something. Death and decay for lethal. Oh, killed the zombie. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about the zombie. Oh, yes, I am missing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. You're correct. Death and decay! 
Dude, it's so good when you get death and decay every turn. <laughs> Can I change the text on Runic Elm to say at the end of your turn to add death and decay to your hand? Because that would be a pretty sick card. All right. Death and decay. Yeah, we'll keep Tavish Secret Keeper. That's good. Tavish uh, has been a clutch inclusion, I think. Sticking it out with duels despite all the Battlegrounds hype? Uh, well, I've been playing Battlegrounds too, but, but I feel like duels got... As much or more hype as, well, I mean, depending on your perspective, I guess, but Duel's got a lot of new stuff, too. The most it's ever gotten, really. And since I am a Duel's forward sort of man, uh, for me, it was an obvious choice. I know what you did. Ooh. Interesting. Can't... <laughs> I can't value trade into that. <laughs> it will also be buffed. Uh, interesting. They have the same dilemma though, right? So let's just go face. Um, I don't really think their random two drop beasts are gonna be that that cool for them. What are they gonna get off Battle Totem? That's interesting. I don't know. Death Quill though is nice. Buff this, you fool. Buff it. Buff it. Buff it, you fool. Warren Buffett. Oh my god, dude, what the heck? It is literally a mirror match. Oh my god, that's actually funny. Okay, yeah, we'll just get this queued up. Now we can actually play secrets. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, great. Got offered two different passes instead of three. Oh yeah, I saw somebody else uh, say that, uh, or like tweeted or something. They got like two battle totems offered. I don't think that's supposed to happen. I don't, I don't know if it's a super consistent bug or what but it dude if they dude if they play hyper blaster oh my god <laughs> i would die oh i would die yeah wolf rider is much worse okay that's fine all right could live with a wolf rider man oh amazing <laughs> this is funny oh this game is fun dude Okay. Ooh, Magic Shell could be cool on her, actually. Um, think about Army of the Dead. Uh, you know, th there's like obviously a chance it, it only gets like one or two minions. I think actually a pretty likely chance even, but I'm like not behind that much right now, so I can kind of afford to take that chance. And then if it doesn't whiff, of course, I get to just go insane, right? I just have a monster board. So I, I kind of have a luxury here to take a risk. I get like one high main, one yog, I get a nice result, right? Even a mad scientist and a secret keeper or something would be okay. If I get like two minions, I think I'm happy about it. And I don't really care about burning cards. That doesn't matter to me because nothing in the deck is that important. I already have Tavish. I have Runic Helm value all the time. I have this hero power, frankly, if I want it for value. So I just have a moment here where I can kind of just go and see what happens. And I think we'll take that moment. Okay, well, I said if I get if I, if I get a secret keeper and a mad scientist, I'll be happy. I don't know about a secret keeper and a mystery winner. It's not bad. And again, not really important burns. Stalker Supplies is certainly a good card, but not, not an amazing one. Uh, it does seem like if this sticks, Anti-Magic Shell is going to be completely bonkers. Especially if that's like a, an explosive trap they're trying to, to debate into, right? I guess I'll probably want to play a secret to test, um... Oh! Where is my Death and Decay now? Yeah, I think we do still just try to go face, right? We can test Ice Trap, like I said. Not an Ice Trap. This will play around Explosive, right? I might, I might trade in the two small ones anyway, though. Just to clear their board, right? We, we could have a scenario where, though, if I hit, we, we play into a snake trap. We can also test freezing, I guess, as well. See where that lands. I need a am I going to hero power, or am I going to, like, obliterate snake? Probably going to obliterate snake, right? Uh, I guess we'll still... Uh, if it's snakes, it's no big deal. The explosive will deal with it, so let's just test the uh, explosive here. And yeah, we'll 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 go face. Oh, okay, cool. GG. 
the two minions mattered, man. They were actually pretty good. <laughs> when you have the anti-magic shell to follow them up, actually not bad. Not bad. Man, we have so many weapons this run. I have three eagle horns. <laughs> I have venom strike. I have uh, the other dude, the other poison guy, hyper blaster. Like, man, I guess I'd take worshiper. I don't really want any of these. Beastly Beauty is just really expensive. Worshippers at least kind of cheap. Um, I have to take a pee break, but I'll, beyond that, I have another problem. I have to go pretty soon. This is good. I mean, it's fine. We have like four eagle horn bows. Blue is a good flavor, but red is my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> I like this hand. The monkey would not be worth it if we didn't have sticky fingers, right? But since we do, I think it's okay. So we can take a coin Huntress turn and get some tempo up. Oh my god. I've been offered scroll in a while. I love scroll. I got one off stream, but not, not on stream for a bit. Yeah, I can't wait to do an arcane mage deck, actually. That sounds really good. Fun. Ooh, this could be really nice. I need one more secret, though. Draw a secret. Draw a secret. Oh, God. We got to talk about Jersey Max again, don't we? That's funny. It's like it's like there's some rule of the universe. Jersey, conversations about Jersey Mike's always come up. Uh, but I'm glad to hear it's not even good in New Jersey. Well, I'm not glad to hear that. I'm sad, I guess. But um, I don't know why I traded. That's, that's bad. I shouldn't do that. Probably doesn't really hurt anything, but... Let's just, let's just kind of let that die, though, I guess. So it sort of hurts. Uh, well, bye bye kobold, I guess, huh? Yeah, let's um, let's hear a power death coil, right? Puts, I think, a worse minion in the res pool. The Anoyo is much, much more annoying to deal with. Man, that Gatorade Zero is actually pretty good. I don't drink these a lot, but it's really good. Gatorade Zero. Not brought to you by Ranger Skelvin, but I'm sort of digging it. <laughs> uh, yeah, since we get the secret for free, I think we're better off going here into Eaglehorn, right? Ooh, bet there's something great inside. Snipe? I don't know, I think Cage is actually very likely to go off against Paladin. Ice Trap, they're going to seemingly be more minion-based, I think, right? Too easy. We're happy to take the damage here to protect our minion. Kind of holding on this guy a while but i'm getting good cards man now i don't know dude i like this better when i got a bunch of garbage in hand we're gonna play what we got though yeah i think death grip has uh, definitely has good odds to hit like a high quality legendary Co i said quality like it's a koala bear <laughs> high quality <laughs> did i play a snipe am i insane oh no we got open the cages that's right that's right yeah well, yeah explain my worst roll it's not it's not bad i guess or anything Ooh, fun Four is just an awkward total. Like a better minion on board or a card in hand? Probably just like a better minion on board, right? Is this the kobold turn? I don't know. I kind of like death grip into hero power. Yeah, I do. I, I don't want to lose this death coil. It's just... Oh, oh my God. I'm not sure why that's not seven mana, but I don't really care. I'm just happy to have the rag, I think. I feel like it should probably be seven mana for the record. Cards that didn't start in your deck. This definitely didn't start in my deck, so <laughs> I'm assuring you of that. Um, I haven't hit a scroll yet, dude. What's going to happen when they get a scroll here? I'm, I'm nervous about that. Is that going to cost us? Yeah, let's, let's just go high main, right? Stalkers and stuff we'll try to get later when there's some upside to it. For now, we're just creating a lot of pressure. We're gonna go ahead and use this weapon since I have the Hyper Blaster we might want to pivot into on a big minion or whatever. I don't even know what this is. Cat trick, okay. <sighs> da -da -da -da. Yeah, bug report, I guess, yeah. <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I could play it next turn. It would be nice, maybe. I, I have other stuff to do, so I'm not stressed about it, but oh my God, what are they gonna use to kill this? Taking six? Consecration, maybe? I have 10 in hand, though, so they're very close to dead. 
Oh, they're even more close to that. Although that's another good consecration target. Oh yeah, nice. So we have four plus uh, five is nine. Plus five is 14, so not quite there. I think that means we, yeah, I don't think we Frostmourne then. We have our hero power, so. I mean, our weapon here. Uh, it does mean my turn is like kind of awkward. This might be another instance where it's sort of a free army of the dead though, isn't it? Just to try to get like one or two things. Be happy that we got some minions. Since I have very little else to do. I definitely don't want to go uh, monkey here because, or kobold or whatever, because we have a lot of. Oh, sick bonus damage, dude. That's actually really cool. Uh, yeah, hand size is a threat, so. That was a great roll, honestly. Really nice roll. So we got rag, we got a board, we've got frost into death is 10 damage, so we need to stick one damage on board for that to set up a lethal. They might play like a Tyrion here. If they do, I can just like hyper blast it or whatever. Hit face for a bunch. Oh. Uh, this still feels like lethal, right? Particularly with the worshiper here. Cool. Take no prisoners. I'm gonna use the death coil, guys. I'm gonna use the death coil. Yes! Dude, this runic helm deck has come together. Secret Hunter's not bad. I probably got time for one more game. It kind of depends. I'm just waiting on Mrs. Kilburn to get home from work so we can eat, but, uh... Oh my god, dude. It hasn't let us down yet. <laughs> gonna do it, dude. This is our fourth Yogg, dude. <laughs> We've barely even been playing them. Yajiraj is garbage, but I don't care. We've we've leaned into the Yogg so far, and he's rewarded us with victories, right? If we had six wins... Wow, this is a six-win deck, dude. I'm actually gonna be able to put this on YouTube, I think. It's been funny. It's been good. I can take greedy cards because we have Runic Helm and all these other things filling in the mana gaps, right? Plus, I just took a lot of low-cost garbage anyway. Uh, yeah, Snipes may be very good against their minion stuff. We'll see. But this is a good opener. We've been getting these Secret Keepers very consistently, by the way. I guess we have three. So it's, it's common, but kind of nuts. It's always Mrs. Kilbin. What about us? It's almost as if there's some reason I might prioritize it that way. I can't imagine what it is, but almost like something makes sense. Oh, here you go, guys. Uh, I just saw this tweet about duels problems. People have been having duels lockout problems. Uh, regarding duels lockout, we have a fix. Till then, do not rage quit. Closing Hearthstone on the last game of a heroic run is what causes this lockout. If you get yourself stuck, there's a workaround below. So check that out, I guess, if you want more details, but... Sorry, I didn't give you the operative part of the, the workaround there, but you can Google that dude's name or whatever and, and get the deets at your leisure. Uh, hey, Crazed! Thanks for the prime sub, man. If they play a minion here, we probably go Snake Trap. If they don't play a minion here, we go Snipe, right? So they play the minion, so... They can go... Actually, actually... Uh, uh, snipe trade's still pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Let's clear the next minion out this way. It's not Divine Shielded, anyway. Whew. Turn three kobold. I'm not giving up much here, right? I'm not giving up much. Uh, I do like death and decay quite a bit, but a six six is also very good. So I don't know. Let's think about it. Oh, hey, nice buff, dude. Thank you. I think there's a pretty decent chance this is a noble sacrifice, and he's just killing this anyway. I could play a snake trap to play around that, but I think I'd rather just play kobold and, and really start to overwhelm here. So we'll take the bait, like no big deal. Um, just to be sure. We didn't have to attack, of course, but. Ooh! Actually, good, cheap legendaries. I love it. We don't really care about Ysera's, obviously, but Mankirk into Dungar is really good. I think we'll go, uh, dude for Dungar, right? Does D D Dungar's dudes work again, right? Oh my god. Actually, really annoying. My snipe kind of got wasted here. Dungar's dudes work, right? He gets a dude, right? I don't even remember, man. I don't even remember how Dungar works, to be honest with you guys. I legit have no idea. Did we see a Dungar dude? 
It's what I want. So if we can get a Dungar, dude, that's great. I think we just take this trade, by the way. Yeah, we lost the snipe, but I don't want to leave a minion up for his zero power while it's attacking, right? So make sure we go that route. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have time to play these Yseras. They're kind of low rolls. Florgal, I mean, he's a body for one mana. He's fine. This might be another Army of the Dead turn. I'm very likely, though, to get bad results. Just Yogs and garbage. Maybe not. I don't think we're ahead enough to risk it here. Probably have to stick to actual minions this time around. Well, they didn't hero power, actually, so... What was that? A Dungar? No, Mangrick, actually. Okay. I guess I would have preferred them to have the Dungar, but whatever. Didn't play around the Vanessa Van Cleef, I gotta admit. Like, that was the surprise. Uh, no, not time yet. Let's uh, let's play this one straight up. Really nice board. Getting more Runic Helm value to fill in our hand gaps here. That's nice. I kind of want a Death and Decay, Death Coil. Yeah, we're good. I mean, if we stay ahead like this, we might have time to play it, Sarah. Who knows? Who knows? So you go for the man crick here. Go for the man crick here again. Yeah, naturally. Yeah, buff my secret keeper. Yes. Ooh, pull out into all the yogs. Is that good or bad? I mean, it's a little risky technically because I'm not on that mana point yet. But you know, I do have. I do again have gap fill. Oh, oh, oh. This is going to be four Yogs and a Tavish if I do this. Am I willing to burn the Tavish in order to gain four Yogs on board? I think I am, right? I think I'm totally willing to do that. Let's see if I get anything here. That might change my mind a little bit. I think four Yogs on board is insane. Just four. Well, not. Yeah. Four, well, it may not be four Yogs. It might be Yasharaj too. We don't know. But whatever. Four Tin Drops next turn. Because it's top cards of your deck, right? It's top cards of your deck, so... I'll actually get all my 10 drops. Oh, obliterate, sure. Oh my god, did I get a secret to buff this? How does that work? Oh my god, I did. I got bonus damage. That's hilarious. I would have traded if I paid attention, but we'll, we'll take it. Um... That's hilarious. This will die on the attack, too. So now Army of the Dead. I lose the Tavish, which, again, I'm not happy about that. But it's okay, I think, because we're just going to swarm the board so hard. I actually kind of need these things to die, though. I'm only going to have spots for a few minions. I need to play something I can trade into. <laughs> play something significant enough to trade into, please. Uh, oh, okay, that'll help, I think. That'll help. Guess you hit here, maybe? Oh, maybe hit here, yeah. Yeah. Oh, or here, whatever. This scales, I think you hit that. That guy dies, though, so... Straight in... Here... I need four board spots, actually, so I can play this straight up. Okay, so we're actually gonna get Yashiraj, though, so I do actually want to trade here. I want to take this bad trade for Yashiraj. Kind of relieved we did get one... Believe we did get one Yogg, actually, right? What does this hit? Talon. Hit me in the Talon, please. Worshipper is also fine. Look at that, dude. I didn't even get to freaking react, dude. Army of the Dead into four old gods. I kind of wish it'd been the four Yogs for, like, visual consistency here. But, uh... I like having one in hand as well. That is a heck of an Army of the Dead, dude. Army of the Old Gods. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Samuro. That's not big enough. Oh, no, dude. No. 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 Does this secret protect me? No. No. We go again. <laughs> we go again. Like, what can I do, right? We just go again. Now I do kind of wish we had the um, Tavish. I, I don't know. This hero power is really good for late game, too, though, because of all the value generation. So 
I don't know. I, I think I think we outvalue pretty much anybody with Runic Helm and this hero power, right? I mean, fatigue, I guess, is a threat with uh, Doom Pack, so we have to rely on those for removal. Certainly not Army of the Deading again, I'll tell you that. Friendlings is good. Death and Decay is fine-ish, I guess. Bolvar? Okay. We'll make Bolvar really big later. Who knows? Sounds fun. Run to the core! Run to the core! Uh, snipe seems fun. Wasn't exactly my strongest turn. I'm also gonna burn a card if he kills the Talon, which pretty much always happens, right? So, I don't know. This probably wasn't the best turn. Feel like I should have done more, right? I didn't have a lot to do, I, I guess. I, I'm getting to the point where all these Death Knight cards are stacking up as garbage ones, right? I've got like, just a bunch of garbage. Oh, I wanted to spring the trap. No, <laughs> not. Oh, I guess it's not. No, never mind. It's Talon. We're not rolling in the uh, Tavish or uh, Polk Out world anymore, I guess. Oh, that guy's gross. Probably just Doom Pack that guy, right? I can burn one card. That's fine. Oh, it's going to be Stalker's Supplies that I burn, though. Oh, shoot. That's something I don't want to burn. I guess it could be Petting Zoo or Olgra or Mage Armor or Hyper Blaster. Which, honestly, all of those <laughs> seem like really bad options. Uh, let's just pray for the best, though. Oh, Eaglehorn's great. That is one card we definitely can lose. No problem there, for sure. That's good. Careful. Wandering with this, yeah, that's pretty good, I bet. I don't know how big his threats are, so a freezing trap might be better, honestly. It's hard to, hard to read, but... Ooh, we like death quails. Okay. Damage. Oh! Uh, okay. That would have been... That, that's going to get wandering, too, I guess. That's fine. Sort of. I mean, it's not good. Be a rager! Be a rager! Oh! Oh! Oh, thank you, Octobot nerf! Wow! <laughs> okay! How is Yogg not done, by the way? My god. I probably want to get a Ysera down soon. The challenge is just like... I've already got like these crazy hand fill problems, right? My hands are just so full all the time. Trade coil on that, maybe. Oh, something's getting shield. Uh, sadly, the big guy there. Jeez, Poisonous 2 denies me the frenzy here. That sucks. Off, actually and this guy keeps making like really surprisingly good turns right he keeps making turns that are like way better than i think they have any right to be I'm getting i'm getting annoyed sir annoyed i tell you sir i bite too I, God, I forgot how this card worked i thought this was only affecting itself oh god <laughs> Dude, this is so annoying, dude. No. Oh my god, why is this so why is this why does this exist, bro? Oh, hit this guy, please, like a death coil, please. No, we finally got a target. I didn't want it. Um Okay, I just need to get cards out of hand right now. This poison is really brutal though. It's okay, it doesn't really matter. Nothing is honestly that important right now, so... And they might whiff too, right? Never I need to dump cards. Yeah, I'm just gonna dump the card. Like, uh, there's a chance, right, this goes really poorly and it hits here and it's clean or whatever and I wasted it, but... There's also a chance it misses and hits a 2-2, right? So, just to, for the sake of keeping my hand a little more freed up. And maybe even supporting uh, Yogg as well, right? Oh yeah, reshielding it sucks too, doesn't it? What in the god's names are gonna happen here? <laughs> Pre 
freaking Moger, dude. Hit a 2-2. Two -two. Hit a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, man. They got face. That sucks. Uh, did I get rush? No. Wow! They don't miss anything that is important. Hit, hit, hit. Ugh, my God, dude. They... Come on. He didn't miss anything. I might have to do impact. This is gross. I guess it depends on what I get off these guys or if they even die. This one will always die. Um... Potion of Heroism. Is there any good draw for me? Stalkers, Olgra's not really that good. It's just not great. I mean, if I do impact here, I am getting Duty call. murdered, right? Too easy. Too easy. Hey, I'm streaming! Uh... Where is Death and Decay, dude? I mean, half my deck is gone. How desperate am I? Not that desperate. Time to dilly dally. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really that desperate yet. I guess. Don't hit this guy, please. Don't hit this guy, please. Just kill it, please. Nice. Okay. Is it only minions? Oh, it's only minions. Face attacks are guaranteed. Oh, death and decay. Oh my god, yes. Okay. I think we're still in an okay position to win. As long as the 7 1 doesn't hit me in the face. Or doesn't like get Wind Fury and hit me in the face or something. Oh, Samuro again. Give it divine shield. 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 Yes. Redemption. Oh. Okay. This is about to get crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Is Yogg ready, by the way? No, still not ready. Do these ever miss? Oh, that was a miss, finally. Hit a, hit a thing. Okay, that makes Death and Decay a lot better. That's goodness. That guy never misses, though. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, no. Face attacks. Gross. Ugh. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course, the one fatigue protection card I have here. Okay. 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 I actually need to doom pact this. It's every point of damage right now is actually really, really scary. I don't unfortunately have great follow ups, but I just need to, right? Okay, so we lost the board, we lost our health advantage, we lost everything except a value advantage, but we're in a fatigue disadvantage. I mean, he should eventually run out of cards, right? Like, hopefully I've turned the corner here to stabilize enough. I mean, I still have 16 cards. I'm not really worried about fatigue yet, but I mean, theoretically, right? Like, theoretically, it's a concern. Probably should have attacked since we know we have so many... Um, Eaglehorn bows in deck. And they're very likely to be drawn next. Libram of Hope. God, dude, he's got so much value in this deck. I'll probably just Doom Pact again here. Trade in and Doom Pact. Only three cards burned is not a big deal. I would like to get an Olgra or Hyper Blaster first if I could, though. Oh, we got Rush out of that. Okay, interesting. Does that change my math at all? Not really. I was going to Doom Pack that anyway, so now I just save a card burn. That's actually good for me. There's the Eagle Horn again. Easy. Anything here that answers? No. Yeah, we'll Doom Pack. Hopefully not Hyper Blaster and Olgra. Well, we're going to lose one of the two. No matter what. Yeah, we, I think we have to. It doesn't matter. I think we have to. And we lost both. Great. <laughs> yeah, excellent news. Uh, great, great job, team. We did it. Alright, how many threats does he have? Uh, Anti-magic shell's good. If I can stick any of these boards, anyway. Burning a... No. Not burning a bow. Need to dump some cards next turn. Need, like, Death and Decay, Magic Shell, Eagle Horn. All together. Tavish? Okay, that's not super strong. Divine Shields definitely make it stronger. 
Probably just go thing, death decay. May not be able to kill the Tavish. Oh, I guess I can with anti magic shell. Yeah. Too easy. Oh, okay. Too easy. What is this garbage card? I don't want this. I think I'm just gonna go wide one more turn. I'm not that worried about Tavish, right? Well, I don't really want to take damage, though. Yeah, this is fine. Okay! This is an 80 mi 85 minute duels game. I just want to eat dinner with my wife. That's all I want. And these games will not end. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. I actually literally can't believe we got righteous defense. Oh my god, dude. That is so funny. <laughs> I actually literally cannot believe it. I'm going to hit this just for promote poison shenanigans, right? Um... <laughs> Dream's really good too. Deny some value here, I guess. Um, we got two of whatever this is, so let's keep that in mind. Those are pretty weak. Uh, oh, he did get poisonous. Wow. Meme Don, sir. Okay. I just want to dump cards and create lethal pressures, right? Uh, I guess we can play this. I don't know. It could be worse for him. could be better for him. We don't know. Like, I could have taken a good minion out. I could have taken a bad minion out. It's it's really hard to gauge. Um, okay. 1523 is Sarah, by the way. This is so funny, dude. Um, we could use someone like you in Alterac. In Alterac. Oh! Okay, guys. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm not even gonna do raid. I gotta run. I'll see you all, um... Tomorrow we'll finish this. I'm sorry I had to end it like this one, but I just gotta go. So I think weirdly we're gonna take kind of the weakest card here just to facilitate the pace of our deck. You know, and, and, and you know, we might get a decent board of minions at some point that the buff actually matters a little. These we do not need. All right, so we're at seven wins. Yeah, Tavish will keep. Uh, wounds probably worth keeping. It's pretty easy to get rid of, right? Yeah, I think so. I'll play it on one, frankly, I don't care. Just get the hand flowing. I like Mage Armor. It gives me time for my Rudic Helm to matter. That's good. Snipe is pretty cool as well. Uh, Book of Wonders. Oh, God. That can be good or bad, right? <laughs> we'll just see. Uh, <laughs> we'll find out. Hey, something once forgot with 10 gifted subs. You serious? Try to save the hype train. Oh, my God. Dude, you've been dropping subs. Oh, that's fine. Every day, I feel like. It's crazy. Thank you. Grats to Epeen. Of course, that's the first name. Uh, uh, ooh, raid the docks, Drekthar. This is whirlwind, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and coin a hero power, right? We I forgot this is also our kind of value generator piece. That's the other reason our hand is always so full. Ooh, yes, death coils. I love death coils. Yes. Oh, hey, Marth is in chat. He says I came by to say hello because your YouTube videos took me back to duels, and it's me as the opponent. <laughs> Good luck, and let me quit the stream for the match. Okay. Uh, you don't have to quit, man. I don't care. Do your thing. Yeah, let's go snipe here to make sure we keep some hand stuff open. We have we have plays for a little while, right? So we don't have to... Oh, my God. Double Death Coil. That's 10 damage from hand right now. That's sick. Two mana, deal 10. Two mana, Pyroblast right now. This is an excellent start thus far. This is, of course, a possibility, but if they're spending, you know, most of their turn just war mastering, I think we're happy campers, aren't we? I think we have to consider that a success. Whoa, feet of strength. That's interesting. Oh, this will be great later, probably, but the moment, not so great. Mm, I really do want to tempo more than I want to do anything else, but <sighs> going to fuel their hero power pretty hard if I go wound prey here. I guess I don't really care that much, honestly. I just want to dump the card, right? 
Like, yes, currently we don't need the hand space, but we're going to at some point. So let me spend my mana in a particularly efficient way. And again, if they're hero powering, yeah, it's half their turn. I don't really care. That's fine. Let them let them hero power. Oh my god, 10 gifted subs from Tremudius to fuel the hype train. Okay, that's a pretty good snipe, actually. I'll take that. Two mana for two mana is a reasonable exchange, right? They're gonna trade. That's kind of good. We're gonna burn a card, but no biggie. Ooh. These don't go together like I thought at first. I got really excited. Ooh. These go together. Wait, no, they don't. Uh, can we go ahead and rip a Death Coil face? Yeah. Again, I just need to open up hand space. We're already, like, really pushing too. Yeah, Doom Pact goes off, off a little bit. Sent your reminder in Discord details. Beautiful. It sounds like you also included uh, instruction, which will be very helpful for me for sure. So that is nice. Can I do anything cool here? 5, 8, 11, 7, 10. No, I can't quite honorable kill, right? It's like, do you really want to obliterate this guy and take 12? I think I can, right? I have mage armor. We have Tavish. We haven't lost any life yet. I mean... Yeah, it's it's weird, but yeah, I think it's okay. We're just really winning the winning the board, winning uh, winning everything here. This is not a pirate, remember? So it's not a pirate, is it? No, <laughs> it's a size seven, so no weapon buff, unfortunately. Obliterate again, okay. I mean, I'm obviously like at risk of burst damage, but quest pirates don't usually have a ton of burst damage, right? That's the thing. Uh, hey, Radical Flame with the 200 bits. Thank you, Radical Flame. That's crazy. Amazing stuff. Oh my god, dude. I don't know if I want to obliterate that one. Triple patches off the captain, dude. So here's a good secret activation. I mean, I guess I can obliterate it again and just mage armor here. Well, I don't have mana to mage armor, but I guess later we'll mage armor. It's not really worth the Doom Pact, right? Because I want to push face. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Maybe I could... Maybe I could death coil myself to be, like, super safe. I'm not really worried about these because of an explosive trap, right? So, if I think I'm... Let's see, how much damage I'm putting in? Eight. Maybe a 13. So I am going to need more to win. I'm not going to win here just off the death coil, right? I mean, 17 with three cards. Explosive trap. I mean, this goes off right, but I think we'll be okay. It would be really, 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 really unlucky if we died here. Save that death quill for the burst damage outs, right? Uh, next turn, we could just go Tavish, gain some life back. If it feels scary, we can still death coil again, right? Just be fine. Battle Rage for one is totally okay. Uh, oh my god, I'm not keeping up with the hype train here. There's a lot. Oh my god, there's a lot going on. Oh my god. There's a lot going on. <laughs> there's a lot going on. Oh, you know what they could get actually is a decent uh, decent scroll to cause me some problems, right? Ooh, that's going to set up lethal, right? Yeah, perfect. Crazy. It's going to be uh, 10 and 3. Excellent, yeah. That's super sick. Glad we held the death coil. Nice! Eight wins. Let's go do this deck. I love it. I love it. Uh, we want no more, please. We're going to keep this explosive trap against this hero power, right? They might have a lot of token stuff, so having an extra explosive trap to stabilize a board. Oh! Could be great. I think we might also want death and decay. Oh! Oh! Whoa! That's a little bit ahead of the curve. Or, I mean, like, bigger curve potential there. That's kind of spooky. It's okay, though. We have hero power to beat that sort of stuff. Oh, death coils, too, are great. It's so funny using the phrase burgle because you don't really steal it from your opponent, but that's just what the original burgle card did, right? So we're kind of stuck on that language, I think. Here you go. Add a random card to your hand from your opponent's class. So I'm generating a ton of stuff. Runic Helm generating cards. These generating cards. That's why I've been talking about prioritizing dumping stuff out of my hand a lot of the time. Because I need to... Uh, Create hand space very often. If I play this now, is it is it too early? Is it a waste? Too easy. Like I don't want that one two to trigger it, right? Okay, this is gonna look a little weird, but 
I think it's right though. I need to preserve these for more key moments and I still need to empty my hand. So I'm just going to take the efficiency there and less about the output. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Remember yesterday when you like sticky fingers and that go for my deck. I forgot about the hero power, man. Forgot it, okay? Aren't we allowed? Oh man, burning cards. That's okay. I don't. I probably can. I can probably go ahead and rip the explosive job. See what we get, of course. Oh, that's uh, interesting. Yeah, that can fill a gap. Oh no! No! This doesn't really dump a card, nor does this, right? Draw my lowest cost card. Oh, I could take a supercharge and dump it, I guess. I don't definitely need a Yogg yet. But I want a supercharge just to dump it. Yeah. I think so. This is a weird play. I just need better cards, right? I need Death Knight cards. Death and Decay, maybe? Uh Army of the Dead's interesting. We did definitely increase the number of minions we have. There's also nothing I can't afford to lose, right? We already have Tavish in hand, which I think is our like best option, but there's a lot of weapons in my deck. I could easily hit four Eaglehorn bows. <laughs> Just destroy four bows. <laughs> Let's see how it, this looks first, right? Like, we don't know. Are these gonna go face? Apparently not, or you wouldn't have played that first, right? Oh, that sure looks like one's gonna go face though. Here now. Yeah, cool, great. Thank you, Juan Fuego. Excellent for me. Uh, this looks like Rindling Death Grip, right? We can certainly take three, I think. Well, I guess we Death Grip first, see what we find. Oh. Well, I don't have Treants, I guess, but uh, that still seems intriguing, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Might not be good against two twos, but nothing else was really that exciting either. Now, that's a good card. That is what we need, I think. Um, somebody said something. What was that? Was that a donation? Oh, it was. Yeah, Chromanic, dude. Uh, thanks. You're by far the most likable content creator on Twitch. Keep it up, King Balls. <laughs> thanks, dude. <laughs> that's really nice. I don't know if all that's true, but it's really nice. So appreciate it. Um, okay, that's a good. That's definitely a good. Uh, good target for uh, freezing traps. So that's nice. Beta poison seeds. You think they got a poison seeds? They might have three mulch munchers, by the way. That's something we've seen sometimes here. Uh, I mean, I could I could technically risk an army of the dead here. If it if it hits well, right, it's like a home run. We win the game. Like we just we own, right? If I get a high main, a Yasharaj, a worshiper, even's like kind of cool. I have like a brief window to do it, so I'm thinking about taking it. Could try to do it on curve too. Let's just do it. We have a, we have a moment here. We may never get a chance this good again. Oh, uh, okay, totally worth. <laughs> Hundred percent worth it. Yeah, excellent, excellent result. Um, yeah, ice traps good. Yasharaj, obviously, the best possible result I think. Oh, a free six six taunt too. Are you serious? Oh my god, that is a clutch play, dude. We only what do we only lose two? Yeah, and Polkelt's fine, right? Like a Yeti's great actually. I will totally take a Yeti. Excellent result. We are burning cards again, but no big deal. Oh, Evolving Spore is getting Ice Trapped. Wow. And this is getting Freezing Trapped, too. They are getting uh, murdered a bit here. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, I still got a free 6-6. Six, six. I still ended up being 10-10, ten, ten, right? I had 6-6 six, six and 2-2. Two, two. It's kind of funny, actually. It's sort of funny. I ended up the exact same stat line, isn't it? Uh, I don't think we have a lethal quite yet here, but we're getting awfully close. Certainly like what's happening here for the most part. <sighs> Dunbaldar is kind of worse than just a minion, right? Yeah. They both put a card in hand. Um... But at least a minion might be the extra stats on board that matter. Is this deck really going to get nine wins, guys? We memed about it at the beginning. It said it's going to be a nine win deck. It's, is it really going to land at exactly nine? Oh, my God. Dude, that would be an amazing story. I'll have to make sure to put that in the edit. Uh, exactly nine wins. Hopefully we go 12, man. 
I said 10 win, but you guys all said nine. I remember this very distinctly, by the way. I'll, I'll <laughs> this is where I cut to the fact that that's not at all accurate. <laughs> you said 11 to three, yeah? I, I think eight is a home run, man. I'm over the moon here. It's all Yogg. Yeah, it really is. I mean, Yogg did steal a game for us and just believing in him has obviously given us good, good results on Army of the Dead and such. Oh, that's just far too slow, right? Uh, how much damage do I have? It's gotta be enough, right? It's gotta be. It's like a billion. Cool. Yeah, nine wins, dude. I don't even know what is so good here. I guess just a lot of choice, a lot of discounts off sticky fingers. Just a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, it's only not Jaws. Kobold has been intriguing for us. I mean, the minions are discounted, right? Sometimes that three mana six six is really good too. So double gold, <laughs> double golden kobold, <laughs> quadruple yag saran. This is quite the dream deck, dude. I don't need this stuff. No, let's take no more, please. Right. In theory, I kind of like stuffing my deck with a lot of cards for the sake of doom pact. Because it almost doesn't matter. I'm mostly playing off Death Knight cards and stuff. But I obviously still want to have good card density, right? We don't want to. We don't want to give up too much here. Aren't you the true servant of Yag? Yeah, that that green screen behind me, which you can't actually see, but the uh, the green screen behind me—that's actually just Yag Saran's body. That's his bulbous stomach. I, I, I use Yogg's belly as my green screen. I live in a cave. He set up this nice streaming software for me. It's really cool. A little, little streaming station. And uh, Yogg's testicles. That's his left testicle. <laughs> I live in a shack next to Yogg's testicle. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's why it's a little wrinkly. Oh boy. <laughs> well, we found the intro. <laughs> what, what, what do you have for the intro? Well, we found it today. I'll get the views back for sure. I hope so. All right, broken paladin deck. Wound Prey's good, can dump that early, maybe kill a dude. Bow, uh, I mean, bow is a lot of long-term value for sure. Might keep a bow. I don't have Tavish the opener. I keep, I keep being excited about Tavish in the opener, and then I never play it. <laughs> I just never play it. Not ever. Oh, Goggles tempo is crazy. Okay, this could be tough. Hopefully these secrets can catch me up a little bit. Oh, Mystery Witter is a good oh, play instead of Wound Prey, I think. Um, yeah, Snipe seems pretty good, right? Oh, uh, well, not that good against these. Actually, Trap's probably better against these, isn't it? Ooh, big boy. I need Death and Decay. Of course I want Death Coils. At some point, I just want to get, like, eight Death Coils and just, you know, hit them in the face a lot. I like this a little better than the Scouts, because these get discounted. I can really empty them from hands quite quickly. Which is nice, I think. And I have the bow, too, to support secret activations more. So for now, Dunbaldar feels like a bit cleaner play. Ooh, I'm probably going to have to bow that, right? That's kind of gross already. Ooh! I love it. What is this, dude? How big is this going to be? Yeah, duplicate secrets actually suck. I guess Snipe's pretty easy to activate, though, to be fair. All right, so... That would have been a good snipe target, man. Sucks. Oh my god. Okay. Well, do they have a way to buff these guys? <laughs> like, like, does he have the dude that gives these health or like a level up or like, do I signal explosive trap? Yeah, Divine Shield. There's like a million ways, right, that these actually go nuts. Maybe I Wound Prey to make him think there isn't an Explosive Trap, actually. 
And just to play around like emergencies as well, right? Yeah, I should have actually secret keepered. I don't know. It feels bad to play it in there, but I think I technically should have. Yeah, let's let's make him think he's safe here. And and honestly, it's just you know, yes, it's technically a waste, right? In a in a perfect scenario, but you know, if he does have the buff that hits these to three three or whatever, I save six health or four three or whatever it is, right? I save eight health. And it's a little bit of mind games, too. I don't have to be perfectly efficient with this deck because we have so many resources, right? So we can afford to kind of uh, make some, some interesting lines. Yeah, that worked out okay. I'll never expect the second explosive trap. Snipe, of course, a little wasted like we talked about. Not, not perfect in this matchup, but I think uh, still pretty interesting because of... Uh, <sighs> The weapon, bow. Bow getting pumped up here is pretty good. I know what you did. Again, snipe is going to get wasted, but whatever. It is what it is. I don't I don't think I want to rip the um explosive trap yet, right? First. Ooh, that's good. Explosive feels too early. There's definitely wide board potential here. Ooh, Death Quell's nice. I might actually need some healing here if he keeps getting out ahead of us. I don't know. That's that sounds so wild to me. Oh, that's actually not a bad snipe target, right? We get to take a trade here, maybe. Wouldn't be a bad crusty, but I think we can save crusty for later. Oh, he's taking trade, of course. Backpacks, I forgot. Talon's not really that interesting, is it? Probably just open with a wand maker. Do we know what the secret is? Like a noble sack or something? Judgment of Justice. Oh, that's fine. I actually like that better. It died. That's, that's great. <laughs> Just get a good card out of deck, right? That's kind of an upside. Next dragon I play, I don't really have any dragons. I just like the 5-5 five five better, though. I don't think so. You don't pick the walks, eh? Yeah, just in case, right? We better. This sucks, right? I'm losing this freezing trap to a 1-1. One -one. But I think this is the best play. I could go here and here and like hit that instead. I mean, I could hit it instead anyway, right? But I don't know. I don't really care about the freezing trap that much. I want to start pushing. This is a deck which can find damage quickly with death coils and explosive traps and frostmorn in hand. This weapon still has a quite a bit of damage, nine damage left. So let's just give up the freezing trap, basically. He has rush minions anyway, so it's like you never can really expected to hit something huge like you might surprise him on a rush minion but also oh my god okay that's a pretty good crusty target at least that's not minions in hand at least so no crazy discounts there or anything oh my god dude where's my death and decay I think this is just crusty explosive, right? Oh, maybe I should have face. I mean, I could try to greed this crusty for later, but... Oh, actually, let's grab a random dragon. Let's see what we get. Oh my god! It's actually sort of sick, because I get the dragon consort. Uh, but I think I could save it for later, right? Because I'm going to get more death grips, probably. I think, anyway. All right, we'll probably get more death grips into... Oh, yeah, into more dragons, and then this just keeps getting better and better, right? <laughs> a little baby Deathwing, yeah. This is a Battlegrounds buddy Deathwing, dude. Um, okay. I mean, we're way ahead right now, at least. Supposed to drop again. Pretty well positioned. Uh, assuming no, no buffs. And I think it's way less likely they get buffs now because their hand is all dragons. It's not minion buffs anymore, right? So... The explosive traps will probably connect very often. It's like some kind of good way to deal with that. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. Wow. That's good stuff, dude. I don't have a good way to answer that. I really don't. I need to grab my own Alexstrasza here. Uh, I really don't want to death coil Alex. I really don't want to Frostmourn Alex. I just kind of want to go face, right? I think I'm just going to play stuff. 
and Talon, yeah. No, I don't I don't think I can Cobalt. This is a little risky because if it whiffs, I'm in a pretty bad spot, right? Like I hate playing this when I'm behind. I kinda wanna play it when I'm ahead. Um Where's their weak point? So I don't I don't think it's time for that yet. I think we're gonna wait. This is not what we I'm Gonna go ahead and play this. And actually this as well. I know it seems counterintuitive, but I just want to get ahead enough that I can kind of dictate some good trades and stuff. I know this kind of loses its high roll potential. It's only a 5-5 five five right now, but I actually don't know that it'll die yet. And it might take me four or five turns to get the death grips anyway. So let's just get some stuff down. We're close to turning the corner here for lethals. I think his reactivity will be a little more limited. Of course, rush minions, but... Oh, that's actually really good, though. So I have eight damage in hand here. Eleven. Straws Yog. And another Kobold. So not quite there. I think we're happy to do this, though. We have to be mindful of Ysera cards now, so like Dream, all that stuff is actually a little spooky. How many of random legendaries or dragons? Yeah, true. I could try to high roll this. I think the cards in hand are too good, though. I, like, if we were desperate, I you know, that's sneaky and kind of fun and good, but I don't actually think we're desperate right now. I think we're in a good spot. We're turning the corner really hard. Plenty of damage in hand, right? I'm going to get a 5-5 five, five summon here really nicely. Clear the board. I am, like, kind of light on play. This is actually a good time to army the dead, honestly. Yeah, this is a good time. Oh, yeah, that's actually fine. <laughs> like, it might look bad. Like, yeah, oh, no. Burning all my dudes, but uh, a 10-10 is really nice. Yeah, this is the place. So we have a lot of damage still available here. That's eight. Actually, we can just spend man on this now, too. It's 10 already. It's not a monkey anyway, it's a kobold, right? But uh, <laughs> but we have actually done it, and it helped us win the game, too. Where did the 1-6 come from? Uh, Yashiraj recruited it. This is the, uh, like, OG Yacht. Okay. Interesting. That's the dream. Oh, Nightmare Rush, actually. Oh, that's even cooler. Oh, my God, dude. That is sick. What a play, man. That was really cool. Uh, this is like a really good Frostmourne target now. Because I can override it immediately with Rindlings, right? Yeah, I think so. Like, I also sort of just want to go face, though. We're really close to winning by just going face. So, it's like, do I think this could, like, snowball and create problems? I have 26. I can always heal up later. Dude has lethal in hand, literally. Yeah, it does respawn as a 9-7. Yeah, so I, I think this is it. I, the question is, do I do it immediately, right? Do I overwrite it right now or just play other stuff? Like, do I want the 9-7 on board? These are useless Ysaric. Oh, no, he still has Dream. So, no, I don't do it yet. No. No, he still has Dream. I don't need to do it yet. Dream will just push it back to hand, so... Let's wait for a better moment, I think. Okay, I don't know if I still like this or not. Like, I could have just death coiled it and went face, you know, and like still create. I guess that's kind of the same damage outs, though, later. If I save the death coil in hand, I still have the damage. So, yeah, it's kind of the same. Okay, this is still looking all right. Get the big boy on demand. That deals two to face, by the way. Keep that in mind. That could definitely change our damage outs because I have like five, ten, and then if I overwrite the weapon, I actually get another free two. Right, so that's like 16 showing right now. Unfortunately, not quite there, but, um, you know, it's something to keep in mind. Could also maybe give it Divine Shield. Wouldn't even mind healing off of it. Can I put any good math in here to heal off of it? It's going to be a 7-4. Oh, yeah, I'll be able to trade this into the 7-4 maybe. And, oh, never mind. Scratch that. <laughs> Dino size. Oh, my God. Oh no, seven, it's not a 7-4, it's a 7-6. Scratch that. I'm really, really good at math, though. Sure of that. Uh, this is probably just a good Doom Pack to go face, right? I don't really care about burning cards. But you have more than enough. Um, the Bronze guy's not really good enough here. Take no 
I gotta think about whether I want to write this weapon off again. Like, do I want to overwrite this weapon now? I think it's time now. I'm giving up a little bit of damage, but I get a big dude down. Has he used the dream yet, though? He never used the dream, did he? Huh. I would only have seven damage left if I do it now. Yeah, if he still has dream, I don't think it's time yet, unfortunately. You make him think about this secret, at least. Uh, I'm going to hold the death coil just in case there's some emergency heal or something, right? What is this, by the way? A 9 and a 4, 12. So this used to be like a Ysera or a Sleepy Dragon or something. And it transformed into a Midnight Drake. That's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, Welp is really slow. That's fine. Ooh. Not any good for us. Okay, this is lethal now. Death Coil, attack, and uh, dragon for two. Cool. Killing them with their own dragon. That's fun. Ten freaking wins, dude. Let's go. I cannot believe this is a ten win deck, dude. That's so cool. I can't believe it. Oh my god, fatties. I like it. I could go for the fifth eagle horn bow. <laughs> we have four yogs, four eagle horn bows, but I don't I don't need it. We're fine. I like our deck. Oh, I forgot the monkey. Oh my god, guys. I'm so sorry. It's not a monkey, but I forgot it. I'm so sorry. It is actually a neat idea to take more minions for Army of the Dead. The problem is it reduces the likelihood of finding good cards, right? Uh, which that's probably of debatable interest, but... Oh boy, this might actually be really gross. I think I need bigger, better plays. Good removal, Doom Pact, Obliterates. Ooh, Hyper Blaster is very nice. Okay, this might help me keep up with big threats, right? Really clutch draw. Could still obviously fall behind. Oh my god, dude, we're dead. This is gross. This is really gross. Uh. <laughs> Gravenix is you broke my heart justice for monkey. Oh man, I'm sorry. It's it's definitely not a monkey, but you know, I get it. Oh boy, these are gonna get gross quick. I think I have to go here over Wandmaker, right? Because theoretically this could be some big awesome removal card. I think Hyper Blaster's exact Oh, obliterate too. Okay, we're finding exactly what we need. It's just doubles, right? Can I deal with two per turn? Some big crazy legendary twice might be too much. One at a time, like, okay, sure, maybe we can deal with it, right? Two at a time might be too much. Um, yeah. Let's uh let's hold on a hyper blaster so it's a bit of a surprise, perhaps. Let's just get more dudes down. These together can kill one big round of stuff. Ooh, this might just be good on board. Man. Maybe just like anti-magic shell obliterate or something. I get a good trade. He's still hero pairing, so we're perhaps going to have time. I don't know. I think I just magic shell now to make it. Oh, oh, never mind. He's playing something. What is it? How big is it? Oh, God. Oh, that's actually really chill. That's not a problem at all. We can just obliterate that. Uh, I mean, yeah, obviously, I don't love taking 12, but at least we can kill it, right? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is big nasty board. Do they have another big threat, right? This is the next question. Will I be able to answer the next one? How big will it be? Um, oh, hero powering again. Okay, this gives me a lot of time now. That seems very good. I'll just go wand maker magic shell now, right? Okay, that's fine. That's slow. One mana, what is this? Could be anything. Oh, yeah, one more coin. It's going to be a big thing still. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't really care about the basketball that much. I don't really need the burgles right now. I just need the board to survive, I think. Ugh. Hit Yogg. Hit yourself. Oh, yes, hit yourself. Yes, nice. Hey, nice. Okay. Did he hit my 4 2? What happens here? It does, okay. So, Hyper Blaster, Death Coil Spring is pretty good. 
Take no prisoners. But I am, I need to like find game ending setups soon because I can't keep up with this forever, right? Like I need to be able to turn the corner soon and kill. Like, you know, this is maybe plus eight damage. It's like 11. He's down to 12. Got an explosive trap. Freezing trap's actually pretty good. I could maybe ignore one big guy. Oh, that's fairly weak. I just unfortunately don't have good, good stuff to do as a result of it, right? Guess we just go wide here. Weirdly, Explosive Trap might be the pick because the damage outs, although I don't know, Wandering Monster is really disruptive on a big minion, right? So that's probably the technically safer choice. Yeah, I'm not gonna Hyper Blast or any, these aren't that scary, right? There's worse targets coming, I think. So, oh my God, a taller anti-magic shell, dude. I just need this board to stick a little. I'm assuming one minion dies here to a trade. Uh, the other gets freezing trapped, which, uh, you know, I don't love him getting a Lotheb back, but if he's playing, you know, seven mana Lothebs, even a re-discounted Lotheb, I, I think I'm happier than him playing, you know, a 10-10 Divine Shield, whatever, Reborn guy, Colossus of the Moon or something, right? Can live, I can live with a Lotheb. I should have attacked first to re-discount, eh? That I can kind of ignore too, right? So, oh, that is not something I can ignore, unfortunately. Oh man, why don't I have a Doom Pact? Why don't I have a Doom Pact yet, man? That might be game, right? I can't. I don't feel like I can deal with that. It's too good to clear my board, right? Uh. Okay. You can kill this one that leaves 16, 21, and 10, 31 damage. Theoretically, the Wandering Monster would keep me alive. Could also try to rip an army of the dead. I unfortunately, though, lost uh, the one thing I cared about, which is Talon right there. Anything on carry on studies that matters? Yeah, where is Doom Pack, dude? We're so good if we get Doom Pack, dude. Yeah, two kobolds is true, yeah. This might just be the safest play, honestly. Just Wandering Monster on this. Seven mana. I could do this just in case. I, I don't think anything here is relevant, though. I don't think any of this matters. Mm. I mean... Technically, that might be a little bit better than... Okay, we did get a Kobold. I think this is technically just as good or better than Wandering Monster, right? So, I think we're alive, usually, right? Hit, hit, 15, maybe be a little more efficient, but probably not super well. Oh, crap. That is gross. I still didn't get, oh yeah, that Lotheb is now a major problem. Oh yeah, we're dead, that's game. The freezing travel that screwed me, dude. Uh, yeah, I just, I had to get a Doom Pact, I think, right? Oh, they are trading a little. That's kind of nice. Does that give me time? Surely this goes face, though, right? I guess he's worried about secrets. He doesn't know, yeah. There's another secret. Okay. Did they overtrade here? Can I do anything? I mean, they didn't even really set up lethal, right? I just hit that. That's fine. Maybe I just play this. Let's just see what this turns into. Oh. Oh. What's what sets me up best for later, right? I think the petting zoo does. They're actually trading a lot. Yeah, I think I think this is the play that makes them like trade more again, which is what I want. I want them trading. They've overtraded last turn. I think they should have went face. Oh, I can't get a Doom Pack though, dude. This is gonna be tough. Okay. This also gives me good math for like uh, explosive trap roll off, right? If they trade these down, like everything's kind of in a 
Explosive trap range, right? Boom, boom, boom. Explosive trap. Good to go. If they ignore these and go face, I might be able to win off magic shells, right? Oh my. That's actually a good explosive trap setup too, honestly. That's fine. Oh, they are uh, they are gonna trade a little, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I got a crazy question here. Do I just go Frostmourne face and like wait for the Yogg next turn? To, like do this and go face? Maybe hit here for the Explosive Trap on that and they hit me for 11. No, they hit me for 15. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I might need to death coil something in that case. The 6-6, six, six, I guess. Yeah, I probably have to death coil the 6-6, six, six, though. I? So hit here, death coil the 6-6. Six, six. Um, we can't quite turn face yet. I need one more turn of uh, stabilization. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Death coil, wandering, and, uh, and thingy. Wandering will go off after the explosive, right? So that's, I think, good news. I guess we could go um, Eagle Horn instead of Scout. I don't really think I'm going to be able to turn the corner fast enough that this damage stacks up, though, right? I think I might need to Scout for, like, a emergency out of some kind, right? Are they fully neutral, though? Am I just going to get a coin? No, did we get cards before? I don't know. Do they have any board buff? They seem to be... Oh, I cannot find a Doom Pact or a Death in the Cave for a million dollars, by the way. For a million dollars. Yeah, it's just coins. Yeah. That's actually still good. I don't I don't mind a coin. Coin is fine. <clears throat> uh, wandering. Be a taunt. Be a taunt. Be annoying. Eh, annoying. Not a taunt. <laughs> it's good, actually, body for... Oh, my God. Rin? Oh, God. Rin, huh? Okay. That's that's interesting. I can frost... Uh, Frost Gravity, Frost more in the, the red, maybe. Coin pouch. I mean, is it Yogg time, guys? It's not that juiced, honestly. I'd really just rather have a Doom pa Oh, I think we go Tavish here. We can get Explosive Trap um, and Explosive Trap to hit for five. Won't kill these, but it sets me up pretty nicely. I want to take the Explosive Trap on the first time. I need another moment for Yogg and maybe a moment for a Doom Pact, right? I think. Let's try to make this one work for now. It's really not perfect, but we won't be dead, so I think it's okay. Perfect is the enemy of okay, as I've heard someone say. <laughs> uh, they do have a big spell, right? So this might actually connect. Oh, you know, Huffer here would be pretty sweet. Or not. Do we double this up? Doesn't actually do anything except kill this guy. Soften these up a little bit. I mean, maybe they trade first. I don't know. I'm hitting them for five, too, which is... Oh, yes! Okay, finally some removal. I mean, it's not the right size removal, really, for this matchup, but it's something, right? It's something. Um... Would you look at and we have Yogg, too, of course. How many giant freaking legendaries do they have? Okay, it's, it's free, obviously. Oh, I forgot that idiot for the ice trap. Crap. Uh, I forgot about those. That sucks. Ice trap probably wasn't right, although they all were like minion base anyway. I guess snakes would have actually been decent here since I got that Leoc down. Maybe I should have went that route. Probably makes more sense in hindsight. But Death of Decay is good at finishing off the rest of these regardless of whatever else hits the board here. We can figure out that problem later, maybe. Oh. Not doing anything, just Tintins? Just Tintins, yeah. Okay. So without Doom Pact, I think this has to be Yogg, right? I wish I could Death and Decay coin Yogg, because I'd, I'd really like to clean those off. Like, you know, I can kind of almost guarantee those are going to get cleaned off or something. Whoa. Oh my god, that's risky, right? Isn't that risky? Oh, eat. Oh, that's good for me, right? That makes my Yogg way more likely to deal with that. Think the single target removal becomes an answer. Oh no, there's oh my god, what on earth? Oh my god, dude. 
It's not single target removal. There's two, bro. Oh my god, this might blow up his board. I don't like that. Leave the two big guys down. I mean, I res I respect it like immensely, right? But it's so risky. Crushing walls twice. That's weird. Sap. Okay. Gift of the Naru. I don't know how many spells. They haven't really played that many spells, right? So they might actually be okay here. Oh, man. Oh, yes! 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 Okay, that helped. <laughs> I mean, I have no choice, right? I have to go Yogg. Uh, are any of those secrets possibly going to disrupt the Yogg? No, right? Should probably coin first here just to pump it. Right, just to pump it up. Mm. I just... Praise Yogg. I mean, there's no... There's no... What is this, dude? The Stormpike clan bows to no one! Whoops. <sighs> what have we here? <sighs> Thank you, my friend. What? I mean, uh, why? Come on, right? Like, dude, there's gonna be people say, "Well, you should have coined." Like, come on, come on! You always pump the yog. You feed the yog. You you want to give him his sustenance? <laughs> I mean, good for that guy. Honestly, I can't be mad. That was a sick run. That was a good ending on it. I'd rather have a good ending like that than a crappy garbage ending so good for that guy that deck 10 wins somebody in chat called it you like or i called it i think i think i said 10 wins maybe I don't know if he's going to have time to respond. By the way, I didn't really get to talk about it because that game went so wild, but it was pretty cool how well our deck kept up, I think, how we survived. I think he did overtrade a little bit, maybe, but he couldn't have known if I didn't have Doom Pact and stuff, right? So not like it was wrong or anything, uh, it, with our knowledge, you know. <laughs> 